Would you like to start your own online jewelry business from home? Let me show you how with Jotform Store Builder. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I am already in my Jotform dashboard. So we're gonna head up to the top left corner. We're gonna click on my forms. Then we're gonna choose my apps. Next, we're gonna choose the create app, the purple button. And from here, we have four different options. If you know exactly what you want your app to look like, you can start from scratch. If you don't and you need help with those creative juices, you can utilize the use template option. If you already have an app, you can clone it or you can utilize the build store option. Now, full transparency, build store is probably gonna be the most logical one that you're gonna want to go to, but it's basically the start from scratch option with a product list. So we are gonna use a template to get those creative juices flowing. And I'm gonna search for jewelry. And I'm gonna use the app on the right. We're gonna use the template. And let's take a quick scroll. So it looks like we have a form right here. We already have a product list with jewelry in it. Then it looks like we have a sliding carousel with images and then we have a, a button and then our social follow. So the really great thing about the products list is that you can have multiple product lists. So let's say you have maybe a product list for just rings or just necklaces or just bracelets. And if you offer services along with your jewelry business, you can also have a product list for services that you offer. So I'm gonna go ahead and on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose to add an element and we can see product list right down here. We can click and drag it in exactly where we want it. So I'm gonna put mine at the very top. Then we have three options on the right-hand side. You can see we have product settings. This is where we can either add, edit, or delete any of our products or services. We have the green store settings option. That's where we're going to add our payment gateways. And then we have the trash can to where we can delete the entire product list. So let's go up to the product settings and let's add some products. We can see that we have the product name $10 already here. So if we want to edit that, we just have to click on the little pencil icon, or if we wanna get rid of it, we can choose the gear and choose to delete. Now let's say that we are gonna focus on necklaces in this product list. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to add a new product. And we're just gonna do necklace because we can do a lot of things with this. So we have a price. If you wanna put a description, you can. If you have images, that works as well too. But the real key with this is under the options tab at the top. So if we want to allow our customers to purchase more than one necklace, we can turn on the quantity selector. We can go back and then we can also add product options. So if I click on the add option here, let's say we have length. So let's say maybe 16 inches, 17 inches, 18 inches, and we'll just leave it at that for now. Good deal. So we can see we have our three length options. Now we can add another product option as well. So let's go ahead and add, we'll choose metal. So we'll do gold and silver, and then we'll get rid of these last three. All right, so we can click on basic again and we can head back and we can add more products if we like. From here, let's go ahead and set up our payment gateway. So if I X out of this, we can see that those three options on the right have disappeared. So from here, if you want, you can click on the store settings right up here in the top right hand corner. But if you'd prefer, you can also just select that element again and it'll populate. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on store settings. Then we're gonna add a payment integration. We can search for something that we want. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Square, then connect to Square. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on Apple Pay and Google Pay and save. Then on the right hand side, if we want to turn off any of these we can. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them on though. And I'm gonna head up to publish and let's open a new tab and see what this looks like from a customer standpoint. So we can see it, our necklace product list is right up here at the top. But one of my favorite things about these product lists is you can see we have these hearts. So let's say that I really like both of these, the wedding ring and the diamond ring. We can see that they are now favorited, but I want to add one of these necklaces to my carts. And I would like the 17 inch and I want it to be silver. We'll go ahead and add that to the cart. And I'm gonna go up to the top right-hand corner. We're gonna click on the cart. And we can see that we have our necklace, 17 inch silver. And if I want, I can click over to my favorites and I can see all of the things that I have favorited. And then from here, if I change my mind and I wanna go ahead and purchase those, I can click here and add them to cart. Then I'm gonna head back to order summary. We're gonna continue and then proceed to pay. I'm gonna choose Google Pay, then order. Now, if I want to see a receipt of this right now without having to go to my confirmation email, I can click on my previous orders button right here. 
and I can see my receipt. Now, if I have purchased numerous things from you, my order history will be over on the left-hand side. So everything that I've ordered from you will populate over here. Now, let's say it's been a few days and I don't have access to maybe that email or to that button. I can always come back to your app and I can click on my picture in the top right-hand corner and I can click on previous orders and it's going to bring me back to that exact same place. Good deal. So let me show you the creator of this store where to find your order. So I'm gonna head back over to the app builder and instead of app builder, I'm gonna head over to the tables. Now we can see the order date, the app that they ordered through, the name of the customer, their email, and then we can see the ordered items. We can also click on the specific ordered item and we can see more information about it. So we can see that they ordered a 17 inch silver necklace. Now, another thing about tables that I personally love is you have the ability to add columns. And one of my favorite things within that is going to be buttons. So if you want to, you can add a send email button. You can create a new email and every time you get an order, you can click that send email button. Or maybe you're working with a team and you want to send this order to third-party apps, maybe Slack or Monday or ClickUp. You can send data to other apps. But it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about starting your own online jewelry business with JotForm Store Builder, let us know and I'll see you next time.